The doctrine of a multicultural Britain, which embraces a nation where different races, languages, religions and social values coexist as equals, was jettisoned by the Prime Minister as he warned British Muslims must subscribe to British mainstream values. Frankly, we need a lot less of the passive tolerance of recent years and a much more active, muscular liberalism. This was a defining speech carrying a message aimed directly at the country's Muslim community. And Mr Cameron warned that groups that fail to promote British values will no longer receive public funding. So no public money, no sharing of platforms with ministers at home. At the same time, we must stop these groups from reaching people in publicly funded institutions like universities or even, in the British case, prisons. <laughs> Mr Cameron was speaking as members of the English Defence League, the EDL, were gathering for a rally in Luton. Anti-fascist protesters were met by police at the station, anxious to avoid a confrontation with the white extremists. These are the people, say his critics, who should have been targeted in the Prime Minister's speech. Today, when the fascist EDL are demonstrating on the streets of Luton, and you would expect the Prime Minister wanting to say something about that, this constant obsession, uh, the drip-drip effect against attacks on Muslims uh, and our community uh, in this sort of environment is just not helping community relations, is not helping integration and is not helping break down barriers. As the Muslim community began to measure the fallout from this address, there was support from Mr Cameron's terror laws watchdog. There's never a perfect time for a speech like this, but I think we should be encouraged that we have a, a, a Prime Minister who's prepared to look at some very broad philosophical questions as well as merely at policy issues. The speech was delivered as the right wing rallied on the streets. Unfortunate timing that will be seized on by critics in the Muslim community dismayed at what they'll see as the government decision to abandon the policy of a multicultural Britain. Peter Sharp, Sky News.